Hi everyone, it is Badalina, um, and today I wanted to tell you about my bat collection. Uh, in general, I wanted to start vlogging more on here, and it's been a really long time since I've made a video, and I wasn't really quite sure what to say, um, but I was inspired by a video by Sebastian Columbine, uh, who is Sebastian the Girl on YouTube. Uh, she made a video about her bat collection, and I'm um, not trying, you know, to outdo anybody, but I've been collecting bats for quite some time, and I just like, hey, that's a great idea for a video. So this is my bat collection. Uh, one thing I really love is my Edward Gorey bat shirt. The sleeve says Edward Gorey. Um, as far as I'm aware, this is out of print now, uh, which has kept me from cutting the neck off, even though the neck is like all bagged out. Um, I think. My mom got this for me for my birthday one year. Either that happened or I got it off of Gory Details, G-O-R-E-Y Details, uh, which is a wonderful site that has all sorts of all sorts of things, um, goth stuff, Victorian kind of stuff, bat stuff, Alice in Wonderland stuff, which that's another obsession of mine is Alice in Wonderland, uh, which will probably be another video at some point, but it'll be a lot longer probably. Um, so yeah, uh, the next thing I wanted to show you was my little bat. Um, I got him at, I think, a Hallmark store in 03, around Halloween probably. Um, I didn't know what to name him, I used to really like to name all my stuff, and uh, one of the girls in the shop suggests I name him Rufus, and the other suggests I name him Fruity Pebbles, perhaps because he's got nice bright colors, he's pink and purple. And uh, so I combined the two, and his name is Rufus Fruity Pebbles. So, another bat that I have is this one. Um, I think it is a Neopets bat. I think I removed the tag. Uh, but a friend of mine named Hillary got me this um, a couple years ago. And he's got nice satiny wings, which I really like. It's really soft. And let's see. This is another bat. It is, I believe, a... It's a Webkins. Webkins. I've never played on Webkins. Um, but it's very nice. I believe it was a birthday present from my uh, former coworker Paula. Which is very considerate of her. And that's another thing that's cool about collecting something and about lots of people knowing that you collect it is that People, if it, especially if it's something kind of out of the ordinary like bats, people just start to automatically associate whatever it is with you. And every birthday or anytime they think of you or anytime they see the thing, they'll think of you and they'll try to get it for you. Seems to be what happens. Um, this is another bat. It's a Thai uh, Pluffy. He's got like a, I think it's called Thailon. It's like a really soft, plushy kind of material. Um, and his name is Wingers. But yeah, I, my mom probably got this for me. Sorry if that's not correct. Sorry if you're watching this and you're like, oh, clearly I got that for her. I'm very sorry. Um, this is a little guy. I got him at... There was this place in the mall called Create a Hobby, I think. And he's like one of those little sand-filled ones. And usually you see like lizards and frogs and all kinds of other creatures. And um, this one's a bat, and I also like him because he is pink. Yay! My favorite color is pink. Um, I used to work in a photo lab, and he actually sat on top of the printing machine, so he was kind of like my little good luck charm slash mascot dude. Um, this is a little rattly bat. I got him at Target in 06? I think 06, 2006. Uh, in the baby section, and he just loved. He's so cute and rattly, and he's like happy looking, like happy bats. Speaking of happy bats, I got this at Target uh, this past um, Halloween. He is kind of like a pillowy bat, and he's got a nice smile, but with big teeth. Oops, sorry, I'm not used to how the camera direction works. Uh, but yeah, I named him Julius. Um, I just thought it was a cute name. Fitting of a bat. Uh, this is a fascinator with a bat on it. Uh, my mom got me it 
uh, I think in Annapolis, Maryland. We live in Maryland. Um, and it was, I actually wore it like as part of my Halloween costume that year. So, I had more hair then. Which I will again. Uh, and this is another bat that's a Thai bat. It's just a regular beanie baby sort of dude. Um, his name is Scarum. He probably, I think I just said my mom got him for me. That is probably true. If I didn't say that, I'm saying it now. And this is another little bat. Um, he is by the Barrington Collection, and I think my coworker Paula, who got me the Webkins bat, got me this too. I could be wrong. This one could be from a coworker I had named Carly. I know I have another bat that I can't seem to find now that the other of them got me if it wasn't this one. Um, this is Heart Bat. Um, he is an AFI figure, like for the band AFI, um, goes along with the album art for their album, uh, The Art of Drowning. I got this in, I think, 2004 at Hot Topic. Um, it'll, there are also two co figures that coordinate with it, um, Art and Artisha. I have those as well. Um, and the base kind of has this little, like, puzzle PC kind of look. They all fit together. It's pretty neat. That's Heart Bat. And, um... My first tattoo is actually designed after that, um, which is bat wings, um, and I will paste a picture of that in here somewhere. Okay, um, so that I presume is where it will go. These are some earrings that my mother-in-law got me. Sorry. Um, they're little bats, and they're kind of like, uh, Sort of like cloisonne, kind of. They're really cute. I love them. Um, and this is a necklace that my husband Jay got me uh, for my birthday or Valentine's Day or something last year, so I don't remember. Um, I wear it sometimes when I'm not wearing this necklace, which I actually got at a gun show. At Timonium Fairgrounds here in Maryland. Um, <laughs> yeah, I usually wear this bat necklace. It's uh, pretty much I only take it off if I'm putting on a different necklace, usually for like a special occasion or something. Um, this is a little bat on a stone that I think I bought in Arizona. Hopefully that's right. I hate to say I don't always remember where I got everything. This is a little bat, um, kind of catch-all dish thingy. I think I got it at Marshall's in Maryland, Columbia, specifically. This is a weird little bat baby dude. He's like a little porcelain doll um, in a little bat costume. I think my friend Nikki got me this. Um, and Nikki, I know she also got me this. It's a little, like, dispenser thingy. I never put anything in him yet because I don't know if it would, like, be messy. I don't know. But he's really cute. And he's also smiling. As I said, I like smiley bats. Let's see. I'm starting to get a little disorganized here. Here's another bat shirt I have. Um, it's arguably a bat, like using a light as a night light. Although, uh, someone, uh, this is a Woot shirt, by the way, from shirt.woot.com. Uh, another user on that site suggested that it could also be that he is cleverly using the light to help him catch bugs, which is very clever if that is the case. This is a little foam bat. Um, I think you're supposed to, like, do foam painting with it. Um, I got it at a craft store a few Halloweens ago, and I just like to, sometimes it just looks cute if you like set them on a bookcase, or just, it's kind of decorative, um, so I like to use them for the app. And these are some pants, actually. They're pajama pants. Um, I got them at Walmart um, after Halloween, this past Halloween of 2011. 
they were on clearance, and I didn't think they'd fit, but they do. I'm really happy about that. This is, um, what's her name? Batty, obviously. Uh, it's uh, the Beanie Buddy of the Beanie Baby of the same name. Uh, I've had this for a good long time, since a while. Uh, Let's see. I thought they had birthdays or something. Didn't they used to have birthdays? Well, I don't know when I got this, but it's been a while, like at least 10 years, I would say. Um, and I love that it has little Velcros. So you can, like, well, almost. Yeah, I'm a big dork. Uh, and this is another thing I've had for a really long time, probably 10 plus years. It's a little book about um, a bat that makes his own fashion rules. Um, the first page, bat never followed fashion. He wasn't very cool. The fact that he was different was the cause of ridicule. I don't know. A little bat. <laughs> I can't say my experience has been much different. Um, let's see. I think I just have a couple more things to show. This I still haven't found a place to hang up yet. Um, it's really kind of special to me, so I want to put it in a really good place when I find one. I don't want to put it just anywhere. So kind of afraid to break it. Oh, but it's basically my mother-in-law got me this. It is um, a bat that hangs. Um, it has wings that kind of fit into little um, holes in the side of its body. Um, and it's just, it's very ornate. Um, you can see there's like gold paint on it. I believe it's hand painted. Um, I don't know quite where it came from. Um, it kind of reminds me of uh, like stuff that you see in like Tibet, um, but I think it's beautiful. I love it. Just the colors on it are amazing, and as soon as I have a really nice place to hang it up, I definitely will. And the last thing I think I'm going to show you is perhaps kind of the piece de resistance of the collection, because it is an actual bat. It's a real bat. Um, oops, you can see my screen. Um, but yeah, it's a real bat. And uh, I got it for my birthday a couple years ago. My mom got it for me. She was super, super excited to show it to me. She was like, you're gonna love this. Um, I have to be honest, when I first opened it, I was kind of shocked. Oh, it's a bat. Real bat. Um, I feel better about it now that I've actually talked to the company that mounted it, which uh, is called Insect Creations. I believe they're in Pennsylvania, insectcreations.com. Um, it, it was not killed. It was just found, you know, probably at a farm or something, I, honestly, but... Um, and then they mounted it, and I felt a lot better after I talked to the company that made it. Uh, but I've decided he's a proper Victorian gentleman, um, because it seems, seems right. So, uh, so yeah, my little bat. Uh, yeah, I used to have a little, like, felt top hat on top of the, uh, the box that he's in, kind of, to further, uh, illustrate the proper gentleman kind of motif. Um, I think there's a couple other things that I have knocking around. Like I said, there's another um, bat plush that I have somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. My house is kind of a mess. Um, but as things turn up, I'll definitely make sure to work them into other videos. Um, I have a shirt somewhere that has bats on it too that is somewhere. Um, I would love to find it because it's a really cool shirt. And... I'll probably make another video again, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys like this one, and um, I don't really have a lot of videos right now, but if, feel free to subscribe to my channel, and someday there might be others.
Thank you very much for watching.